say hi. Hi, how are you? Welcome to today's video. Today's look is all about makeup with memories. So every product that is on my face right now has a memory. And yeah, even some that have got Saoirse involved. Um, so yeah, if you like what you see, stay tuned. Good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing? We're into what, week six of lockdown now? And the word bored doesn't even do it justice. I'm just like literally going out of my mind. It was okay the first few weeks, but now I'm really struggling. Um, yeah, lack of routine, lack of things to visit and do. And me and the kids used to be very outdoorsy and now we're stuck inside and it's beginning to drive me absolutely mental. So there's so much I can do in four walls when I've to be constantly cooking and cleaning and doing housewife stuff. And I'm just like, no, 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 not today. Not today, Satan. Anyhow, today I decided that I'm going to do a new type of a video. I haven't seen these before and I've been looking through them on, I've been looking for like inspirational ideas on YouTube and I haven't seen it. So basically, I'm going to be doing makeup that has got memories for me. So every bit of makeup that I'm going to be using in this tutorial has a memory for me. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about, about them memories because they're, some of them are precious to me. So without further ado, let's get started. Right, so the first product I'm going to use is a primer and it is my MAC Strobe Cream. Now, when I first started out in makeup, I had no idea what a primer did. I didn't know what it, didn't know anything about makeup really, obviously. Um, so I went to MAC in Brown Thomas and the makeup artist that served me, his name was Liam. And over the years, me and Liam actually became friends and he, every time I needed products, I used to ring up Brown Thomas. I'd be like, can I speak to Liam? Can I get da 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 da? And every time I'd go up, because back then, I, back then there was no like click and collect or online service or anything like that. So you had to actually go up and get it. And he'd have everything ready for me because I knew I was, was a good customer. <laughs> he had everything ready for me. All to do was just go in and pay for it and go, job done. Apart from if I seen something else, they'd be like, let me try this, let me try this, let me try this. And before you know it, I have a collection of makeup. But anyhow, he told me about this strobe cream. And this is the original one. It's pink light. And this is what, this, this is my first memory of getting into makeup. This is how we figured out I was an NW10 as well because he told me. And I remember he gave me, he put on like another colour. I think, I mean, I, think the, I think it was an NW15 and it was just that little bit too red on me. So yeah, that's when he decided that I was actually an NW10 was my natural colour and that I needed that one. So I'm just going to rub that in there like that. Okay, step two, foundation. So the first foundation I ever properly bought that was like for my actual colour the one I was actually happy with that I can remember being happy with was my MAC NW10 because my friend Liam um, from MAC recommended me that one we did the colour match it was perfect again it was a pro product back then it's not anymore now you can get it anywhere um, but I'm not going to be using that one today because it's a little bit too light for me so I'm going to be using no I'm going to be using NC25 I think it looks good yeah, where's my brush? Using a little bit of NC25. And I might have to mix it with a bit of NW35. That's what I usually do to get my tan color. Yeah. I usually do two pumps of NC25 and one pump of NW35 just to get the right, the right color in my tan. And this is the Pro Longwear range. So it's not as matte as the studio finish. So the original concealers that I bought back in the day um, were the MAC studio finish ones in NW20 and NW25. Now I had no idea about concealers back then either. I just needed to, knew I could need to cover my spots. But now I've learned a lot about concealers and the consistency and stuff and I do I do love these but the thing I find is they're a bit too thick for me now but sure we'll go ahead and use a bit on you. I find these great for cutting brows. So this is the NW20. Thank you. 
So the next product I'm going to use is my Ben Knight new neutral set. So basically, when I first came over to the UK, I was working on a production and Ben Knight company was there and their owner, Dane and I. And basically he was so, so knowledgeable, so, so lovely. And I was really, really impressed by everything that they taught us and everything. And yeah, it turns out that his uncle was actually in my favorite film of all time, Gone with the Wind. Um, his uncle was Frank Kennedy, I believe. And I was like, oh my God, you are literally like Hollywood royalty. Your like His dad's company was set up in Hollywood. You know, it was like, it's one of the oldest makeup brands in Hollywood. So this, yeah, meeting him and, you know, talk. And he was so lovely to talk to. Like literally talked about everything from, you know, his, his dad and his uncle and the little factory that they have and everything is, it's a real kind of niche brand. They Everything is like family orientated. It's not a big conglomerate of companies. It's just a little... A little but mighty company and um, yeah so I'm gonna be using this because I have that lovely memory of meeting him and doing all that it was quite fun as well the production as well so yeah so we're gonna use that to set everything our next step is a little bit of bronzer so the one that has the memory for me that sticks out is the Mac bronzing powder in matte bronze this one here now my partner actually bought me this one and he bought me one of the lipsticks that I'm going to be talking about as well as a Valentine's gift when we first got together so that has that nice little memory so I'm just going to use a little bit of that product for the, the next product that's got memories for me is my Bobbi Brown blush in peony just because it was like one of the first proper blushes that I bought you know when you want to be an adult and you buy your first like proper little brush oh, blush yeah so this is it for me it was peony because I liked a bright pink back in the day so let's see how bright this is I think they've changed the packaging of these now. I think they're square, not rounded anymore. Now, when I used to wear this, I used to layer it on and it was like electric pink. It literally was what you'd see there. So I have my beautiful daughter right beside me. Hi, Papa. She's gonna be helping me, aren't you? She's gonna be helping me. Yeah. She, she's officially five months today. My little Papa girl. My Papa girl, what's that? She's watching me like a hog, it's so funny. But I love it, I do. Okay, so we have that on. Now the next thing, I want to use this as the next thing I'm going to use is my Bobbi Brown um, Shimmer Brick Compact. Now, this one has a memory for me because my dad bought me my first one of these. Um, yeah, he bought he got me the first one I ever had of this. And I recently only like used a whole lot of it up. And then the last little bit got broken. It was literally like hit pan for a very, very long time. Um, yeah, so that was it. So I'm going to use this as a highlighter. Um, yeah, my dad used to treat me and my sister to nice things when we were younger you know when you get to that age like I guess he didn't know what to buy us <laughs> and he came in with that for me and I was like yes so I'm just going to use a little bit of the top bit so I'm just brushed use these two colors here very gently because these are very pigmented and I'm using them as a highlighter because with this you can use it as a bronzer as a highlighter as eyeshadows I used to use it as eyeshadows and they're beautiful absolutely beautiful so this is, because of the memories that I have attached with this, I'll never be able to go out without it because I have that nice memory of my dad giving me that. So, And he's no longer with us. So, yep, yeah, then I'll be able to give it to my daughter and tell her the story behind it. He also gave me my sister um, L perfume because otherwise we wouldn't have known about these kind of things if he hadn't have done that. Yeah, 
Pepsi. Beautiful. Oh, love that highlighter. Mm. Love makeup. Okay. Next bit we're going to do is brows. I always do them last. Now I'm going to use my um, my Mac Spiked. Um, this one doesn't really hold any memories for me, but it's just a really good one, and it's quick and easy and yeah. are all done now it's into the fun bit eyeshadows so these eyeshadows that i'm going to use are absolutely beautiful they were given to me by one of my best friends when i had my daughter and this is the charlotte tilbury Ooh, look how beautiful oh my god it's the pillow talk instant eye palette i was like literally like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god look at these colors look 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 so these are the ones I'm going to be using today I'm going to use this colour here in the corner this is in the day the day section so just going to use a little bit of that I'm just going to use that all over the eye lid and then I'm going to use this colour here. It's in the dream section. And it's the first colour in the dream section. Using the same brush again. And I'm going to just do it in the crease. And I'm just going to place it first. And I'm going to get a clean fluffy brush and blend it in. These colours blend amazingly. Like seriously. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Sophie. Love you. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with this medium brown here in the date section, and again on the same fluffy brush, and just into the corners and blend it inwards. So used to blending products like for a long time that I actually just realized you don't need to blend so much with these they literally just glide on now I'm gonna go back in with the color that I started off at the beginning and on a flat concealer brush I'm just gonna go back in over the eyeball area just to lift it Gonna get your pencil brush again into that little medium, medium brown in the date section, and just do the outer third on both eyes. I could go in with the darker one if I wanted to smoke it out a little bit more, but I think that's enough. I don't want to go too crazy. These palettes really up my street, these colour whites in here. Right, next thing I'm going to use is some eyeliner. Okay, so the eyeliner I've just used, I forgot to say, is Liquid Ink by Essence. This doesn't hold any specific memories for me, it's just actually a good eyeliner. And yeah, I think the first eyeliner, liquid eyeliner I ever used was the Rimmel one. But um, yeah, I don't have any, so I'll use that one instead. Now, next step I'm going to do is lippy because I want my eyeliner to dry. Now, the first lipstick I ever bought from like a proper brand was this MAC Limited Edition Cruella de Vil. It was, I think it was the Disney Villains collection was what it was. And this is Amplified in Heartless. And it is such a good red. Like, literally. The other colours that I have that have memories for me was when I first met my partner, I was wearing Girl About Town. So which is this colour here. So a bright pink, which kind of became my signature look for ages was wearing that colour. And then for that Valentine's Day, he bought me the matte brown. He also bought me this Russian red lipstick. 
Pops, which I think I might actually wear that one with me Look for today. <laughs> I have not used a red lipstick in so long. I'm also using my MAC red lip pencil. Where is the name of it there? There you go. Okay, So that's my Russian red and my red lipstick. Now, the next thing I'm gonna go in with is my first mascara that I ever, ever bought, and this is actually my third one of these in my whole life, um, is my Max Factor 2000 Calorie. This is an oldie but a goodie. Yeah. I have actually forgotten what this does. Okay there, so I just finished putting on my Max Factor 2000 calorie mascara. Um, I think we are nearly done. Yeah, that's it. Oh, lashes. Now, I'm not going to put these on, but they are the MAC number six, and they were my most favorite pair of lashes when I was growing up. These were, I can't remember. Oh, I do. I went into MAC for something, I can't remember what it was, but I remember I came out with this, a whole face of new makeup on me, and I remember it was um, it was the Tartan collection, and my friend Liam, who uh, worked there at the time, introduced me to these lashes, and I was like in awe, loved them. Now they're very very dramatic, as you can see. I'm much more of a a naturally kind of one now. I wear the 48s from Mac. Um, they're the ones I wear most of the time. If not that, I wear the Sosumi ones. I love them as well in New York or Milan. And then my number sixes. If I was able to go out anymore, I would be wearing these because these were my clubbing lashes. I always wore these. Actually, do you know what? Even one of my friends, um, Shelly, she, oh my God, I have so much makeup that has got memories to me. She got me some beautiful bits from MAC as well. Oh, it's all MAC makeup. <laughs> this video is not sponsored by MAC. I just love MAC products. I've been collecting it for years, absolute years. Um, it was before I ever worked with them. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah, I've got like lip glosses that have memories that she bought me. She bought me a pair of number six lashes as well. Um, and I used to be very particular that, you know, the way when you get drunk, you'd cry. I used to always try and not get drunk so I couldn't cry. Um, because I'm one of those happy, merry, cryy drunks. I'm like, everyone's my best friend. Um, well, I have no idea who you actually are. <laughs> oops. Um, another thing. <laughs> yeah, oops. Sarah's right here beside me. She's like, Mummy, what? Today is Sarah's fifth whole month. And she's chewing like mad on her little dolly. You are, my gorgeous girl. Another thing that was given to me was actually the day I went into labour was this beautiful Mac again. It was the Star Dipped Face Compact in Medium Deep. This, I love this blush so much. It's not a blush, it's like a highlighter, but it's got a kind of a pinky finish. Oh my God. And I was actually in labor. My labor had started with Madame here. Isn't that right, Baba? Yes, it did. It did. You were, you were trying to get your way out. Yeah. And I had like two weeks to go. And then she was born the following Wednesday. Yeah. No, I was brought into hospital the Wednesday. She was born the following Saturday, yeah, because they were, they were wondering why I was in labour for so long. So I laboured from, oh, I was la laboured from the Sunday. That was only like, I was starting to get like really bad contractions and stuff. And then it was like the Sunday, the Monday, the Tuesday, brought in on the Wednesday, induced, had full on labour. Thursday, full on labour. Friday, full on labour. And she pops her head out on Saturday evening. She does. Yeah. After a C-section. I ain't letting you forget that, honey. Nah. You were the hardest baby to get out. But you were absolutely worth it. Whoop. Good girl. Here's my gorgeous girl. Up we go. Up. Oh. Look. Oh. What are you trying to do? Look, who's that, Papa? Who's that gorgeous girl? Look. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We've got a clean on here. Oh. 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 Oh.
gorgeous toots. Hey, toots. Hey. We got a bit tissue. You see them teeth? Where's the teeth? Where's your gorgeous teeth? Hmm? Where's your gorgeous teeth? She's like, what's all this? Glitter and makeup. I gotta go. Mama gotta go. Radio, I'm gonna love you and leave you because she is now hungry. Yeah. Oh, she's my little dolly. She's my little dolly. Yeah. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, thank you for sharing in my memories. And um, yeah, see you next time. I love you and leave you. Bye. Mwah.